What is up everybody? I am here with some more Doom 3 The Lost Mission. Last time we've made it through the other dimension, which of course is hell. And now we're gonna be finding the other the the, we're gonna find the other teleporter and disable it. So none of these demons are, are able to pass through my city. And we save the world. And the Revenant is shooting its own allies, which is pretty good for me. Okay, sweet. So now let's head our way. Yeah, we're supposed to go through one of these side doors. I keep forgetting that there's side doors here. There's another one. And I keep setting keep I'm in the line of fire of the of the revenant. Oh no, and this is just where I just entered in. And there's nothing in there because we can't reach towards it. Ah, we made it over here now. Now, no other secrets. No. Let's enter through this little boat over here. And look at that! Look at look at this design. This uh, this looks actually pretty cool. I mean, look at that. That looks fantastic. That art design looks very fantastic. Uh, it actually looks re pretty real. So we're at the Hell Outpost. That is the next area. So, like Dr. Mario says, we have to reach the outpost, and it looks like we have made it. The Day of Doom, Hell shall be. I, I couldn't read that. Now we made it to the next area, which of course are spawning a lot of enemies. And I took them out, no problem. Nothing around there. Okay, good. Pinky demons. Sweet. So now we could move forward and look at these strange symbols that are on the floor as we're moving. Okay, so you do want to reach on top of there because it has the Valguri. And you do want to take them out. Okay, I thought I was gonna get hit there, even though I'm way low on health. On this health here. I was gonna say, that would have been a bad idea for me to actually do that. Run forward towards the, towards the, towards the arc file. Why did I say, did I say Valgry? I mean the arc file. Sorry if I'm mistaken that. Now hopefully we're close to the uh, outpost. And near that teleportation. And that looks pretty cool when it lights up like that. I gotta say. That's not good. Hell night.
Gotta take out as lot of these enemies as, you, as we can. Hey, can, can you just imagine just exploring through here and at the same time having a lot of these enemies spawn at you? Or exploring through this place and just be nothing but just a lava burning and a stench of, of, of this place? Man, my head will be so messed up. Kind of like, like those uh, explorers that we've... Uh, and we learned about it during the main game. You could just imagine that. That's just be ugh. I would have hate to do that. I mean, if I would have did that, then they would have had to pay me a lot of money. Like no joke. Like I wouldn't say no. I would not volunteer. You have to pay me. Pay me to get through these tele. Pay me through and to through these teleporters and through the other dimension. Oh no, ouch. Damn thing rolled through. I got some stuff out of it. What? God damn it. Teleported me back. Yeah, yeah, you do gotta be careful because if when that beam shuts, it's gonna teleport you. It's probably gonna teleport you very far or it's gonna teleport you back into the beginning over there That's one thing you do want to be careful of Okay, that might have been a bad idea Need these forgotten ones And the door lights up which once again still looks very cool. And as you can see right there from a the distance, we have reached the teleporter. So we do we don't want to go down there just yet. So if you go towards your left, there is a secret in here. As you can see, there is a Rage logo, as you can, as everybody known in, I believe in 2012 or 2011, uh, ID Soft, ID Soft released a game called Rage, which I've played. It's alright, I do like it. And when you play Rage, it does hint towards, it does hint towards um, uh, Doom Three, and in, in one of the uh, areas that you that you are in. Well, I can't explain it, but in one of the areas, there's like a little hint of uh, Doom 3 or like an easter egg. Uh, this is not in the original game, not in the Xbox version, not, not in the original Xbox version, and in the uh, PC version, the, the regular ver the original version. So this secret it is not here. It is not. It's on, This secret is only available in the BFG edition of Doom 3. So that's it. So, but if I'm not mistaken, that it's not in the original Xbox and the original PC version in Doom 3. So this easter egg, high chance is not there. Because it doesn't have the Rage logo. Or if it does, it will have the ID logo. The ID software logo. If I'm not mistaken. And also, just as a precaution, let's save. There we go. And now, we made it towards this teleporter. Now let's activate it. Okay, Marine. I'm receiving your signal from the communication relay. The teleporter's warming up. It should only take a few minutes to get to full power, and then I'll be able to send the search to destroy it. Watch your back. I'm seeing disruptions in the energy waves. Marine, there are things moving your way. Look out! Yep, and of course, as we wait for the teleporter to charge, a lot of enemies are going to keep on spawning. Gotta take out these zombies. I wish I had the soul cube. Would have made it a lot more easier for me. To actually deal with all these uh, 
Let's actually deal with all these creatures. The teleporter's reached 25% capacity. We should be at home. There's a redox modulation for me. It might cause a transference wave. Transference wave. Oh no. I've lost control of the modulation. That's not good, so we're back here in more city. Well, we're back here at the access labs. That is a hell night. Now we're teleporting back. Okay, I think I've stabilized it for now. I'm showing the teleporter there at 75%. Just a few more minutes, and I should be able to send the surge. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm reading something in an incoming transference wave. Marine, something big is headed your way. And of course, you know who this is. So this is the Guardian. So yeah, you thought that we've faced, that we're all gonna be facing the Guardian just that one time. No, we're not. We're, good. we're facing the Guardian for the second time here in Doom 3. But as you can see, there's something missing. The Seekers. So now that they made it a little bit more easier for you to actually fight the Guardian. So now you could just completely shoot at it without having the need to actually destroy the Seekers first and make the Guardian uh, uh, much more vulnerable. So using the BFG will work great on the will work great on the Guardian. Just make sure you're far away from distance of it. And there we go. Nice work, Marine. Yay, we did it! We finally beat the last mission. So, like I said, the last mission is tied into it's, it's tied into Doom Three, of course, which is the main game. Which I love what they did here. So back then, if you would have pre-ordered the, I think, I don't know if the last mission was in the PC version. That's something I have to check. Or the last mission was in when uh, it was released on console. That's the thing I don't remember. But I love how they did that. I love how they tied the, the last mission into the main game, which I really do love. I liked how they did that. I liked how I like how games do that nowadays. Well, not now. Well, some games now today, uh, these next gen games actually do do that. They tie in uh, DLCs into the main game and stuff, which I actually do like. So once again, I did like how they did that titles both in, and we only I only beat it in like I believe like an hour and forty five minutes. So this so the last mission is not is not this is uh, yeah the last mission is not uh, too long. It's only about an hour an hour an hour and forty five minutes. So you could uh, beat the last mission in uh, in one run. That's not that long. So we finished. Doom 3, the main game. We finished the last mission, and now we have one more to go, which is, of course, the Resurrection of Evil, as you can see, as, as you see right there. The Resurrection of Evil, right there. Now, the Resurrection of Evil is... I'm not, I don't have time for you. I'm explaining stuff here. So, yeah, the Resurrection of Evil is another DLC that we are going to be getting towards, but, of course, we finished... I did a very long session today, so I'm just gonna stop here for now. I'm, I'm gonna finish this session for now, and and in the next session, I'm gonna be 
uh, doing the Resurrection of Evil. So we still have one more DLC to go. We still have one more to go. So we finished, so like I said, we finished uh, Doom 3 and the last mission. Ah, uh, we're close, we're close. We're close. Okay, so that is going to be enough for me for now for this session. And then next time, I'll be doing the Resurrection of Evil. Yes, so that's going to be enough for me for now. And I'll be back doing the resurrection of evil. Until next time.